We all know that Mr. Horgan and Mr. Weaver have made an agreement. They've announced a significant deal. And, uh, but what's most important is this basic principle, that if there is going to be a transfer of power in this province, and it certainly seems like there will be, it shouldn't be done behind closed doors. It should happen in public, as Constitutional Convention tells us it should. It should happen in the People's House, with 87 members elected by British Columbians to our legislature making that decision. And as I said, this is what Constitutional Convention requires us to do. And in times of uncertainty and a close election result like the one we have now, it is more important than ever that we look to the institutions that govern, govern us for guiding us as they have for 150 years. I do know, though, that all of us involved in this process will have one thing in our hearts, and that is truly the best interests of British Columbians. That starts with stability. It starts with the respect for our democratic process. And it means that me, we must work together. And I don't just mean politicians working together. I mean working together with British Columbians.